All right, the drip stopped for now and nothing burst it open. Let's go in the other room. I have something I was just peeking at and I thought I'd better make a video and show you some of my little toys. These have been sitting here for a year. Retail Salesperson's Guide to the New Chevy Diesel Pickup! Yeah! 5.7. Yep, yeah, converted gas motor. I know it has a high nickel content block, deeper webbing, but it's a converted Olds motor. On the old There we go. There's no icon on the screen. It just says record, video, but maybe the uh, text will be more legible. Full size blazer. Gas or diesel. Seating capacity, GBW, wheelbase. The two-wheel drive Suburban has a 200-pound greater GBW right there than the four-wheel drive. I guess the front differential is lose weight carrying capacity. Not a lot of specs here. Towing capacity, 16,000 pounds. Blah, 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 blah. Anyhow, there's just too much to show you in here. But So here's the interior on the brand-new Suburban. It's got dual armrests. It's a four-wheel drive model. And the pleats go all the way up into the headrest, whereas on mine, the headrest is smooth with just two pleats and a band. But look at the blazer. Do you think the blazer would have the same interior? No, it's got totally different seats. Totally, totally different seats with the new style lever to recline, whereas the old ones didn't have a reclining feature at all. Matter of fact, to get in the back seat, you flip the entire seat forward, so everything on the front seat dumps and the driver's seat doesn't move. But look, it's got the old-style door panels with the aluminum band all the way across, just like mine has. Those chrome caps always come off. Well, they've got it in four-high mode. Or four-low, actually. Look at the four-wheel drive shifter. They've got it positioned in four-low. Maybe to get it on the set. It was a steep incline. So you see that? It's got a wooden piece here for the electric mirrors. That's where the electric mirrors go that wooden burl plastic and the upholstery goes all the way past the armrest there's on the blazer they've got newer style seats totally different I don't even know if it's the same architecture on the seats and they're totally upholstered differently 5.7 liter EFI 6.2 diesel both have power steering power brakes Scottsdale or top level Silverado trim package, spare tires dropped through the bumper on the newer style trucks. There's some overload springs here. What is number seven? Suburban's two-stage rear springs give a responsive car-like ride. Yeah, right. And provide, provide progressively firmer support as loads get heavier. The ride in two-wheel drive Suburban models is made even smoother by an independent front suspension. And it goes to the Chevy van. Oh boy, let's see what the horsepower is. Uh, 5 liter, 5.7, 7.4 liter. Regular cab, full size pickup, extended cab. Horsepower, 6.2, 126. 126 horsepower. That's the LH6 model, the B series. Oh boy, with manual transmission, 126 horsepower. Automatic 140, and the LL4 is the, bleh, oh, the three-quarter tons get an extra three horsepower because they've got no EGR. Compression ratio, 21.3 to 1. And here are all the options. I can't read this crap. It's too much to read. Plus 10 blazer. Here we go. Full size. Full hyphen size. I wonder if that text is easier to read in macro mode. Barely read that standard interior. Let me switch back to the regular mode and see what happens.